Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are well. In today's video, my husband and I will be installing a drip irrigation system in our front and backyards. I'll show you the process and assess the results that we achieved. But before we get started, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get this done. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. So this is how the garden bed at the front of the house looked before we installed the irrigation system. So we purchased the irrigation system in the summer of 2023, but we're just getting around to installing it now. And what made us go ahead and do it at this point is that we were gearing up for another long road trip. And because I'm really hoping for good gardening results this year, I figured we'd go ahead and get this installed before we left town. And uh, I'm quite sure that our now 24 year old daughter is happy that she did not have to come over to our house and water our plants every day while we were gone. Right here my husband is installing a hose splitter and as you'll see in just a moment he uh, realizes that there is a leak at this point at this connection so he did get a plumber to come out and repair this connection but also check the one that's in the backyard. Liking for you is all I need. Here is one of the timers that we'll be using to automatically water the plants at the front and the back of the house. We purchased two of these, so we're going to install this one at the front and we'll install an identical one at the back of the yard. This way no one has to remember to go out and water the plants. Having said that, uh, we have a family member who is really not happy with the installation of these timers because he lost his job. Yes, that's right. Our 10 year old was not happy that when the timers went in, he would not, or when the irrigation system went in, that he would not, his services, his gardening services would no longer be needed. So my husband and I are really happy about installing this, but our 10 year old is not the least bit happy. The system came with two sizes of tubes. This is the larger size here, and my husband is cutting it um, to our needs. We will be also uh, attaching some smaller tubes. I'll show you that process later on in the video. So right here we are testing the connections and the water pressure and it looks like all is well so we're going to move on to the next step. But before we do that I'm going to show you one of my problem plants. This here is uh, a blue hydrangea that I purchased a couple of months ago. It was absolutely beautiful when I got it and when the landscaper, um, before he installed it in the yard for us, it still had a decent amount of blue but then it started to look like it looks now. I am convinced that this plant is still going to thrive because the leaves are still looking really good. So this may just be a transplant issue for this year, but next year it should look okay. This picture here on the left is what it looked like when I first brought, uh, brought it home from the store. So I'm really hoping for similar results next year with more care. But now I don't care Cause you took my scars Bruises and broken heart Numbed all the pain Show me how to heal And now I don't feel Broken anymore This is the smaller tube or the more narrow tube that I mentioned earlier. These will be used to make direct connections to each plant. Let me take this moment to make a proper introduction. Hi, I'm T, a 50-something married mom of five. Four, our young adults are not in the home anymore and we're still raising our 10-year-old. We are also first-time grandparents to a six-month-old granddaughter. On this channel, you will see cleaning motivation, DIY home improvement, and room makeovers. If this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Your continuing support means more than you'll ever know. Here you'll notice that my husband has already attached the smaller tubes to the larger tube and in just a moment we will be installing the sprinkler stakes. There are two different kinds of sprinklers. You'll see that there are the red ones here and just before that there were blue ones. Uh, they come out in different directions and I'll show you what those look like later in the video. I used to be afraid until I met you I was insecure Caught up in the pain, but you show me how to heal. So this is what the water looks like coming out of each sprinkler head. As you notice, the red ones there have a strong stream of water that points outward, but the blue ones have more of a softer spray that's uh, kind of shaped like an umbrella, and it stays more inward and closer to the plant. It is another day and we have moved on to the backyard. I will give you a quick look at the two mulch beds that we have back here, but also the plants that we have up on the deck because we will be using the irrigation system to water those plants as well. The plants look to be in good condition. Uh, this is from uh, my son watering them with the hose pretty much every day. They look really good. They are thriving. These are the plants that we had installed last year. I'm really hoping to be able to uh, keep these blooms throughout the season. Stick around and see if I was able to accomplish that. It's been like this ever since we So each week I like to share good news in the form of praises and not so good news in the form of prayer requests. So let's go ahead and jump right into both of those. So I'm going to start with the not so good news slash prayer requests. I have to tell you it's been a really good week and besides the previous prayer requests that I have shared with you, everything appears to be well. That said, if you submitted a prayer request in the past, please know that I am still praying for your requests. If things have turned around and you would like to share a praise, please do so in the comment section below. If you have a new prayer request that you would like to submit, please write that in the comment section. You uh, do not have to be specific. You can just say unspoken prayer request. And I would love the opportunity to pray on your behalf. If you um, are someone who likes to pray for others and you see something that hits you right in the heart, Please leave a comment for the person who uh, asked for prayer and let them know that you're coming alongside of them and praying on their behalf. Switching gears, I would like to jump into the good news slash praises for this week. I recently mentioned a health concern that was budding for a family member. It um, was a serious concern that required intense medical care for several months over a one year period a few years ago and it seemed to be rearing its ugly head again. But the praise is that this health concern seems to be resolved. Uh, there was some medical intervention required, but it seems to be resolved. We are still keeping a close eye on it, but we trust fully that God has spoken and we give him all the praise for that. 
If you have good news or a praise to report, please leave it in the comment section below. You never know who might read that and be encouraged, inspired, and motivated by your testimony. have some high quality solar lights in our mulch beds but when I came across these in Dollar Tree I could not resist buying them. I love the clear multifaceted look at the top of each light. Right here I am staking the sprinklers for the three plants in this mulch bed and then I'm going to move on to the other mulch bed and take care of some quick maintenance on the flowers. Minute. 
screw it on there. No. <laughs> Daddy was trying to take a shower. Apparently, I was in time. Hmm? Apparently, I wasn't in time. Because by the time, 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 time I got. Like three minutes. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get wet. <laughs> Soaking wet. So is the idea here is that it's gonna get all the plants? No, I just I had two extra and I figured that a cap okay, them. Right. I guess for now, since there is no other thing to well and I can't get in that and go to the It is two months later. I will give you a tour of the gardens, talk about what went right, what went wrong, uh, what immediate adjustments are needed, and what I can do differently during next year's growing season. Here on the front porch, I have two flower pots that are filled with Asian lilies and wave petunias. They both exploded. I had no idea that getting the water just right was going to make these plants thrive as they have. You may notice that some of these petals need to be manicured, but that's okay. Here I'm in the backyard and these are my cucumbers or my son's cucumbers. He purchased these cucumber seeds and this, um, this uh, planter from Dollar Tree. I do not believe that the seeds were good seeds. I've grown cucumbers in the past. I've grown other uh, vegetables in the past and they have done really well. But those cucumbers this year just did not do okay. So I think it might have been a seed. So next year we'll buy better quality seeds. Right here you see uh, my purple bell peppers. These are doing so well. These are one of the successes that I've had this year. I have a lot of them to harvest. Some are not quite ready. Some are ready. This one right here at the top had, I'm not sure if that was, um, and if that is something that happened within the plant itself, if it was a bug, if it was some kind of animal, but these are more of the uh, purple bell peppers. I'm really gonna have a good time with those this year. I uh, This right here is my uh, red basil. I discovered this year that when I have mosquito bites that are bothering me, and I do get them all the time, this red basil, when um, we just pick leaves off of um, each plant and rub them on my mosquito bites and I get a lot of itch relief from that. Right here you're seeing some of the tomatoes. While my bounty is not as good as I've had in the past, it is okay. I have not really lost any tomatoes this season. I've had a couple that I could tell that just, um, I think the squirrels got to. But otherwise the tomatoes have been doing okay. This pot contained my melon plants. I attempted to grow watermelon, honeydew melon, and uh, cantaloupe. This right here is the honeydew melon. It is doing so well, but I will show you how the watermelon and uh, cantaloupe turned out later in the video. You're also looking at right here my diplodinia plant. It is thriving. I had some on the deck last year. They did really well. The one that's on the uncovered part of the deck has a lot of bloom still on it. The one that's on the covered part of the deck for some reason has lost its blooms. That was not the case last year. It is still thriving. There's a lot of greenery on it. It's growing like crazy. Uh, but uh, right here is one of the mint plants. I have like a peppermint plant and a spearmint plant. They're both doing okay. Um, I have used the leaves from these in uh, fruit salads. I've used them in uh, homemade um, homemade sweet tea. So I am still getting some use out of these. Um, I was I think these were supposed to help repel mosquitoes, but that has not really been my experience. Over here, I'm in one of the mulch beds. Um, those plants over there look like they're doing okay. Nothing wrong. This one right here did get some blooms earlier in the year. It had some really good color. It will be getting some great color again this fall. However, my poor hydrangea plants, oh my goodness. Remember how they looked at the beginning of the video? They were just so vibrant in colors. Um, 
this one right here is supposed to be, this is an Incredible. It uh, is supposed to be this really bright white that turns green later in the season. This one just kind of goes back and forth between white and green. But the pink ones, they are just, they don't look good at all. They look pretty sick. And what I think the issue is here is that um, I was overwatering. I probably did not need to water them every single day. And I most certainly did not need to water them as long as they were. This one right here is another one of the Incredibles. It should, at this time of year, have some really bright, full blooms, but these blooms are not doing so well. And over here is another one of the pink um, hydrangea plants. This is a mop head hydrangea, just like the other pink one. Uh, it's not really blooming as it did last year. You can see right here, the blooms are not doing well. However, because the leaves still look really good, I believe that all of these hydrangeas will do well next season. I just have to make some adjustments to the watering volume and the watering um, the watering frequency. Right here is a little tiny watermelon. I can't wait to see that, how that one ends up. This cantaloupe is doing really well, but then some wildlife got to it. Uh, this next picture shows you exactly what happened. They actually just started chomping away at it, so this one did not end up being something we could use. And then this next melon here, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Um, I'm not sure if it's something internal or external that was causing that. The next picture here is the honeydew melon that is still doing really well. We should just lean together. We could have been stardust. Same world but without us. Something Thank you for following along as we installed our irrigation system and I took you on a journey of our front and backyards. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see this kind of content in the future but are not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button and when you do, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you won't miss out on future uploads. Until the next time, stay blessed.